I don't know if you guys out there are familiar with the TV show uh, Reacher. Um, but Reacher is a spinoff from the movie Jack Reacher starring um, Tom Cruise. And so it's a really interesting show about, you know, a man who, uh, you know, really doesn't have um, much to lose in a sense. Right. He's gone through a lot of different um, issues uh, with, you know, uh, family and things of that nature. And now he's he's a military, uh, ex-military, and he's kind of a loner. Right. And so this TV show, uh, Reacher, kind of walks you through a um, a picture of, you know, the scenarios he finds himself in um, throughout life. And so his his basic concept is I'm always alone. I'm always going from city to city. I don't have a plan in mind. Um, but the actor who plays Jack Reacher is a Christian. Now, I will say this. I'll put a disclaimer out there. Jack Reacher's content is rated R. Um, actually rated our TV mature if you if you want to be exact so there's some flack that he's gotten about being a Christian and playing on a TV show where there's mature content so Jeremiah you got that yeah I'll play a clip okay I love playing Reacher I love uh, telling this story I love playing a character who uh, creates a, a kind of moral ambiguity that we should struggle against as we consider whether or not what he's doing is good all the time or morally right um, I think that kind of thing is fun and fascinating, and I think escaping to that world um, as an audience, hopefully it's as enjoyable for you as it is for me to help bring it to life. Um, but it's funny to me how a lot of people criticize me, supposed Christians especially, criticize me for playing Reacher, as if the only TV that, that should exist is seeing people silently folding their hands in the, in the pew of a church. I mean, what kind of stories are we supposed to tell? If you look at scripture, what do you find? You see a thousand years of, a, of an infinitely holy, holy God holding tension with human beings as he tells the story of who he is, reveals who he is through an imperfect people. So we get stories, we get stories of, of, of paganism and, and uh, uh, a war and bloodshed and ghost stories, mysticism. We see uh, uh, miracles and magic and uh, uh, we see life and resurrection and, and death. And uh, we see this incredible canvas where God is completely unafraid to tell the story of who he is through um, less than morally ambiguous characters, through through pure evil sometimes, you know? So um, I think it's uh, laughable when people criticize me for playing characters that are not like saintly, you know? That's not my job, and I don't think God cares about only telling those kinds of stories. I think we can start conversations and we can reach people through these mediums in a way that um, I think God enjoys. And so here we are now where we can get to the heart of the matter, where God has built a platform because of the show for me, where I can reach people who maybe don't think about these things all the time. And maybe, maybe for those who are struggling or feel lost or want to try something new, um, they can find something that brings them hope like my faith has mine. All right. So that was uh, actor Alan Richton, um, the, the, the gentleman who plays Jack Reacher. Um, and so, you know, I've seen I've seen the TV show Reacher. I think it's uh, two seasons. There's another third season about to come out in tw late 2024. Um, Jeremiah, you've seen the show? Um, I've seen some of it. I've okay. seen clips from it and stuff. Yeah. James, you seen it? I've never seen it. Okay. My brother-in-law, I know. Edwin, you've seen it. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah. And so <laughs> I know it's members of our team that's seen it as well. And so we talk about it. Um, the interesting thing about it is, you know, the question is, do you give this a pass, James? Like, do you look at Christian act, Christian actors and that are playing roles outside of their, you know, faith um, in the comfort zone of a lot of places? Because there's, you know, there's a lot of content in this show that you would be like, ah, you know. Um, and then the other question is, you know, married men, married men and women in, in, in the faith, if they do that type of thing, um, you know, he's married. Um, been married since 2016. His wife is uh, Catherine Richton. And so there is scenes where he's with other women. And, and it's like, do you do you give that a pass? Do Christ shit Christians give that a pass? Mm. Because <laughs> deep down inside, his heart is turned toward Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's kind of hard to say, to be honest. I mean, the, the surface answer would be to say, no, you can't do that. You're a Christian. You can't do these different things. But yeah. If we're going to say that in this one instance, we got to say that across the board with a lot of different stuff, a lot of different movies. Like, yeah, most of what we watch and what we listen to is not always "quote unquote" quick, oh, Christian, sure. Christian based. Sure. Um, so Absolutely. I'm listening to what he's saying. It sounds like 
this is something that he's thought about. It's not like he's just threw something out there. Like the answer that he gave, mm-hmm. it sounds like he reads the scriptures, mm-hmm. he reads the word, he's serious about his faith. He's thought about uh, how it may be perceived by him taking this role on or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think in this instance, it's really up to the individual. What do you want to watch as a believer? Do yeah. I do I want to watch this? Do I feel okay with it? Then I will. If I don't feel okay with it, or my kids or family watching this, then I won't let them watch it. Um, but it's up to it's nobody knows the heart of man. He may be able to reach people behind the scenes that we don't know about. It's mm-hmm. just kind of hard to put God in a yeah. box and just say you can't do that because you're a Christian. Cause. Yeah. For so. people who are unfamiliar with him, you might remember him. He's also the Hulk. Okay. He's also the Hulk. Um, and so you think, and, and his stature, like, dude, is huge, is right? The time travel. He going to, is he doing time travel or something like that? Uh uh-uh. uh Okay. Uh uh-uh. uh. Um, that's a quantum leap. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He was um, the Hulk. I never seen him in the Hulk. Before. Yeah, he was the Hulk. You sure? When, when you see him, you yeah, he was the Think Hulk. about it. It was him. Yeah. Like in in the movies mm-hmm. or in oh wow okay. yeah, yeah yeah not no, the ri- not not um Luke Ferrigno Hulk oh. mm-hmm. but, but you talking about like in these newer Marvel movies yeah 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 oh wow mm-hmm. okay. I know the dude you talking about okay. yeah 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 and so um um yeah so it's interesting right like um you have a lot of actors that do that you know we had uh, Braylee Evans on this show. And she was like talking about what it's like to be a believer and then play in these roles where, you know, it's a little bit these raunchy shows and it's, you know, they're asking you to do things. And she's like, I welcome it. Um, A lot of people say, you know, it's not so much the the character they play, but it's the um, the intent behind what they're there to do in Hollywood. Right. It's not not so much the character because Braley talked about witnessing behind the scenes. She mm-hmm. talked about prayer meetings on set and things like that, involving people in activities um, to reach Christ that normally they wouldn't get that seed planted. I think right. she even said when she was on the uh, set of um, Just Right mm-hmm. with Queen Latifah, she was planting seeds, you know, on that set. Um, and, and also, you know, it, it just makes you wonder, um, the scriptures, when we talk about, you know, uh, let, he, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Mm-hmm. Um, there's the as, there's one scripture that you can you could quote also. But then also, um, you know, don't try to remove the speck out of uh, your brother's eye. if You haven't removed the plank from your own. So mm-hmm. do, do we give people a pass because you may like them? Because if somebody else, if you don't like them or you don't like them, you know what I'm saying, what they do. And they act in the movie and they say yeah. they're Christian and they do something foul. Do we give them not? Yeah, you know what I'm I say it's like it gotta be. You can't yeah. just pick pick and choose. Gotta be yeah. across the board. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. You know I think it should yeah. be across the board. I mean, I I don't think they should do it. Yeah, because uh, I think Denzel's example of that. Um, he's a Christian. He doesn't. You haven't seen him new doing raunchy stuff. Well, I mean, some of the stuff. Day. Some of the stuff he has he done. Was, that training, training day training was. Day. Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty bad. Let me take yeah. back my uh, comment because I forgot <laughs> about that. But I know he yeah. doesn't do like the sex. Right, right, portion. right. So you can, right. you can, if he, if he chose to, he yeah. could stop. You can, you can not do and still well, get the point across. Yeah, still yeah, get the yeah, point yeah, across. For sure, I, for I, sure. I feel like. Well, I think even with training day, he said that he, um, he made sure the director, I forgot, Antoine Foucault, I, I he wrote on the script that like the, the, the penalty of sin, I mean, I'm missing the script, the wages of sin is death. Mm-hmm. And he was like, he wrote that on the script, like, yo, he gotta die. He can't live. Like, this character. He's just a menace, and he mm. needs to pay for it. So he made that. So he, he made that. I don't know if he was gonna die originally, but I'm. Sh- I don't know, but I know he wanted that. That he character. Equalizer to movies too. Equalizer yeah, he loved, yeah. Hey, he, hey. Yeah, yeah. He's, I, he, I he love Equalizer. I didn't like the last one, but I, I think. Love the rest I think of them. he used. He's probably using like these people are evil people, and they need to be taken out. Mm-hmm, kind mm-hmm. of m- m- mentality. So, but I, I'll say this. I think. Um, I think a role. I think if you're a Christian, because I've seen this. I've seen this from different perspectives. I've seen people like the Kevin Sorbos, the guy who used to play Hercules, yeah. and the, mm. you know, um, um, I'm having a brain fart. Um, Candace Burr, Burr, yeah, Candace, uh, Burr, yeah, Burr, yeah, Candace Burr, Burr, mm-hmm. her mm-hmm. brother, um, mm-hmm. Cameron Burr. There you um, go. Yeah, um, Kirk Cameron. I've seen these type of people go. Hollywood doesn't want Christians, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we got to create our own content. We yes. got to create our own mm-hmm. stuff. That's why Pure Flix exists. Why these other companies exist. The um, Kendrick Brothers. Because these people in Hollywood are evil. Yeah. And then I've seen people who are Christians who say like, yo, I'm a Christian and we just need to be like, we got to be in these spaces to show the light of Christ. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have those two big spectrums of mm-hmm. somebody saying I'm being blackballed because of my faith. And then somebody else is saying nah, I'm in these spaces and they're not blackballing me. Mm-hmm. So it's like, 
I don't know. And, and the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is because I think my prayer for homie is that he will have wisdom enough to see a role and go, does this compromise my faith? Right. right you know right. what I mean? Because mm -hmm. if you get in roles and you could, you could, you could be the light all you want, and you could spread seeds all you mm -hmm. want. But if I'm looking at something and I know you personally mm -hmm. right. and you on a screen and you're nude and you're right. performing mm -hmm. crazy acts and stuff like that, I'm going to be like, did you really have to do that? Like, how, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Did you want to take a stand? Because some stuff, remember, this is going to be seen forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. And, and acting, I remember somebody else said this and they got extremely deep. Um, I think, I don't forgot, I forgot what black act actor said it. A prominent actor, I remember... I can't remember the person, but I can remember they saying that we take on spirits when we put on these roles. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what they Chandling. said. Yeah, some people actually. They said it straight up like that. They, like, they, yeah. they become they the person. Yeah. 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 yeah, like right. like these they were like these these actors, these like these characters we play are spiritual. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, invoke that embody yeah, that. embody that right. that character. So it's a lot mm. of stuff to really think about when you when you come into acting and, and like and like I said, I'm not saying that's for everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying there's some roles that you as a Christian, you got to ask yourself like, do I really want to be seen like this? Do I really yeah. want to say these things? Yeah. Right. It comes down to that conviction you get from the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I said, I might not all the way know your assignment. So for me, it may look like blasphemous. Like, yeah. you know, but yeah. you may be called to go into those inner places and inner circles and, you know, so it just it's just hard to say, but it's it just a, a slippery slope because like we were talking mm -hmm. about music earlier. Like we can't have a standard for rappers and not have one for actors. But I feel like it's the same. Yeah, it's like right, we don't necessarily know the heart of man and what they're attempting yeah. to do. You know, so. and, and I'll say this. Like, this is my... Th this is what I, I learned, right? When we were doing Track Stars and we first started doing Line for Line, we got this comment from a YouTuber that was just like, man, y'all are the devil. Y'all are evil. I can't believe y'all would do this. This is awful. Like, y'all need to go repent. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And I go to his YouTube channel. And I see that his favorite movies are Scarface, Casino, uh, you know, The Goodfellas, Godfather. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, like, how can you say, you know, line for line is evil, but these are your favorite. Like, you glorify sin. Like, yeah. don't say. Yeah. So, in my opinion, until I stop watching, you know, uh, PG-13 Netflix movies and I move over to Pure Flix, I'm not here to talk about, I'm not here to judge anybody who decides they want to do something because I'm not in your prayer closet when you talk to God. No, you're not. But I think that at the same time, it's 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 one of those things where it's a representation. It is of, a representation. Uh, yeah. of, of you, even, regardless of what character, you, you have a choice. Yeah. You have a choice mm -hmm. to ask yourself, okay, this is a hard role. Let me get counsel for this. Mm -hmm. Some people aren't getting counsel. Some people are just doing them and asking God to bless. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. And I think yeah. sometimes you, you and I'm like, we're not judging anybody. If anybody actors see this, we're just saying, if you see a role, somebody asking you to play that compromise what you believe, yeah, mm -hmm. that you scream, that you put on social media, that you talk, then you may have to ask yourself that, like, I don't know if I could play this role because I mean, right. this, I'm, I'm telling people I'm Jesus, Team Jesus all day, yeah. but if they see me, you know what I mean, in this role that mm -hmm. makes. A contradiction that people may have a problem like yo what's you 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 doing yeah. that? you know what i mean yeah i'm just saying being be cautious and have counsel if i yeah. if i was an actor i would have people in my life that i would talk to my wife and other people mm -hmm. that i would come to them like hey man i got this role i'm gonna be a drug dealer i'm gonna be doing blah 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 i'm gonna be doing this doing this doing this what do you guys think yeah versus mm -hmm. yo this is a great opportunity you know god gonna bless it and right. like it could take you out. You remember the uh, uh, Christian rapper T1? Um, T1 said he turned down um, straight out of Compton, mm. you know, to play Dre. Yeah. So, and you know what that turned out to be like? Yeah. That was that was a bunch of craziness the whole movie through. Yeah, so right. imagine Christian rapper playing that role, and you're looking like, like what? No, but but that's what I'm saying because you know him of who he is. Yeah. There's a lot of actors and actresses who are people of faith. Yeah. But I don't think they. Mm -hmm. I don't think they care about. I think. I think they they compartmentalize. I think that's what it is. I think they mm -hmm. compartmentalize that it's a character. Job. Yeah, right, right. it's like they may put it at, like you a plumber. You may have to go in somewhere yeah. dirty Are and you whatever. A Christian plumber. Yeah, you know I I just couldn't do it. Like my spirit, my spirit is would be too convicted for what I like. When you go into prayer, when you go into praise and worship, when you go before the throne and you ask God to, you surrender. 
I mean, I surrender all like and that. And when you say that to me, it feels like I surrender anything that is not of you. That's why, you know, when we were working in secular radio, we were like, well, if we ever do radio like I was in, you know, promotions and sales. If I ever did radio, it would have to be to edify God. I told Ryan Cameron that I was yeah. like, if I do radio, it has to edify God. It has to be, you know, whatever. So that's why it's so important to me to do a show like this where, you know, I got friends that are blowing up on the mainstream side. They're retired because of the YouTube channels that they put out. Yep. They got so many checks coming in. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I still want to edify God with every word that comes out of my mouth because yeah. my children, my legacy, you know, uh, my generations that are coming up, they need to see something that's the alternative. And that's why we're here. And, and, we, and we're seeing the shift in the community now. We're starting to see more and more people go against what's been pushed to us yeah. in entertainment in entertainment world. So I, I'm, I'm going to say this because I don't want nobody, no actor who watches this to be like, yo, y'all judging me. I just really <laughs> want, no, I'm serious. I yeah. just really want that person or whoever sees this to realize that that God will make a way for you if mm -hmm. you if you take a stand. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. and I think at the same time, like, and but an, and another thing too, I would say, God could be telling you to do that role. Mm -hmm. And, um, but at the same, I, I would say God could be like, yo, I think you should do this role because I want you to. This this needs to give me glory because in my in my also in my opinion I don't think every Christian story should be G rated in my in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's some, true. It's, it's definitely true. not it, in the Bible. Yeah, you know yeah. Because yeah, some true. stories in the Bible and then some people's testimonies are raw and uncut. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, you know, I think too. The, the the danger is not danger, but I think when we talk about this stuff, we're only going to look through, for the most part, our lens, like. When I look at something like, like you said, my personal conviction, if I see something that makes me feel like, ugh, mm -hmm. you know, so I think we do that with sin. There's certain sins that somebody that commits, yeah. we look like, ugh, because that's something that you don't feel like you would yeah. do. But all right. in all, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just think that every individual has a conviction from the Lord. Um, it's certain things concrete in scripture that it says, hey, do not do this, do not right. do that. Yeah. But I think when it comes down to your job or your profession or your 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 level of conviction, some people are strong enough to go into the strip club and minister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people, you can't do that. I you don't believe that. that. <laughs> I, see, I, I don't. I'm, I'm I mean, you, I, I, I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I'm saying I, I can... I can believe it, but I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, to me, it's I, like, I know, I know in my mind, right I can't. I can believe that the Holy Spirit can transform anybody to go into somewhere and do something like that. But in my mind, I'm like, because you may not have to know like, the person. You can't go in with person. wands in your hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that too. That too. <laughs> I, I know that too. Who go I'm here in to be a blessing. And they've got too. a lot of women to leave out of there. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, wow. That's dope. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So men and women that go in minister or just women? Uh, no, nah, it's men and women. Oh, wow. Going there. You know wow. what I'm saying? They're going there and they'll talk to them. And next thing you know, they got tears in their eyes. And, you know, I went one time and I that one my ministry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, I ain't, I ain't at this level. Y'all nope. got it. Wait, 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 wait. I'll be so, in a car. Somebody invited you to go? Yeah, they're like, we're doing outreach at the strip club. I said, all right. No, so and you went? <laughs> no, pray it up. I'm like, Lord, let's go ahead and do this. I'm, I'm looking, I'm like, man, I'm looking at what they're doing, but I'm like, I can't keep coming in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I know, I know my level of conviction, but for them, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But for me, nah, Magic City Ministry, nah. Right. <laughs> Some people stronger than others. Yeah, I ain't with it. But I think you do you do better when by example what you do and don't do than yeah. than talking. So kind of like the example I think you were talking about earlier about um teaching your kids uh, being an example versus what you say. So people do what you do versus what what mm -hmm. you say yeah. so he, he can do in there and d say that he's teaching people behind the scenes yeah on the production studio yeah. but all they saw you smack the girl behind we at the so you actually did that yeah, that's yeah, not yeah. a I, when it when it yeah. comes to like sex scenes yeah like you actually did that that right. wasn't acting I, right. I know you were acting when yeah. you did it but you actually sure. put your mouth on that was real yeah and i know and people laugh at me i'm, I'm no, like other true. stuff you can you if you now nah, if you say right. you have a stunt double then yeah. okay uh, yeah but you can always say yeah hey i'm don't show we're gonna just act like we walked into the like bedroom and, and then cut the movie you know yeah. and you don't actually have to do it and that's the thing about reacher there is in my, my niece and my nephew out the room now there is a sex scene 
and he is in the shower and the girl right, is multiple, undressed and I it's like seen it, no. yeah 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 and I'm and I'm saying that because I don't want people to be like oh let me put this on my playlist and then they be like stars. why did Ryan put me into this right. yeah um, Ryan yeah, Ryan, yeah, yeah. Not track stars. Um, Ryan got exactly, me too. That's exactly. how I started watching. Question, though, question. Yeah, because me and my mom and my sister and my wife, we all have like group texts and we'd be like, Did you see this? Did you see that? And that's how we all so get So, question something. though. Yeah. So, y'all saw that scene and everything happened, right? Yeah. Are y'all going to continue to watch the show? Yeah, I finished it. Or, or you, <laughs> or, or we, we'll fast forward through it because yeah, our yeah, kids yeah, will yeah. come in while we watch a certain. Like I yeah. didn't know what it was rating when when, when I first started watching. It. I thought it was just and it's yeah. not a lot of cussing in it. Yeah, it's yeah. not. So, but the I, thing it, is, it's like the same conviction that you have, but that allowed you to continue to watch the show after you seen mm -hmm, the content. Yeah. It'd be the same conviction they have that allowed them to act in it. If they acting it and you watching it. Is the same, I, and that's why I said, yeah. and that's why I said I would never, you know, judge anybody until I put down the Netflix and I go straight, the, purely uh, pure fit, flip, yeah, pure, pure flick. flicks, mm -hmm. and that's why I said I wouldn't do that. But in my mind, I'm like, too, like, okay, uh, th this is this is that's what it does. It hooks you. You want to see the next episode, right? right. Um, and and to be fair to the show, they did it just one time. You know, um, and I think I, no, no, seriously. I think I think that happens a lot. I think you see seasons get progressively better when they come out raunchy and people complain or people yeah. in the studio or somebody has a change of heart and that thing goes away. Um, I've seen that happen with a lot of TV shows. Yeah. They come out yeah. out the gate going hard, and then somebody's yeah. like, "Bro, you can't show that much." Yeah, right. And then they 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 clean that up. So, but um, I, yeah. I, I think I think it is. And shout out to Camille. Um, she said it's called Vid Angel. Like you can go watch stuff on Vid Angel and they edit yeah. it out. I thought they were taking down because they had taken so many co so much content they never paid for it. I don't like, know. Mm -hmm. I know she restreamed just said that. it and got the royalties. I, I just, I just, I just think that, I just think if you, I think God could put you in different places and you can do what He put on your heart to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it comes from a pure place. I just, yeah. I just think, I just think in because certain characters are so sinful yeah. or mm -hmm. promote sin. That I'm like, if I would have read something, if I was a character in a movie and I'm reading, I'm like, oh, I got to do all this. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, Same. I mean, I think conviction would hit me. But then some other people may feel like, you know, God gave me the opportunity. So let me take it. Yeah. I just, I just ask every Christian, they look in their movie catalog at home. Mm -hmm. How many Christian movies do they got in That's their catalog? That's what I'm saying. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Most of the movies you got. It's gonna be some sin. If you got Disney movies, it's witchcraft all day. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So where do we draw the line? That's that's my question. I'm not calling any of the track stars team members out, but I know I've been like, <laughs> I've been like, have y'all seen Breakthrough? Y'all should go see, you know, Miracle. And everybody like, nah, I'm not gonna watch that. I'm not gonna watch that. It's, it's no, we don't have to watch <clears throat> corny Christian. Movies. That's not it's, corny though. <laughs> yeah. good Breakthrough sure. was good. No, I'm just saying. But I, I, I'm saying the reason. That. Yeah, it was I, good. I, I, I'm just saying the reason why some people may they may not like like born and it, and it goes back to what I said earlier. Yeah. There's I I remember um years ago and and Sean we talked about this a lot. I was yeah. like I remember being at a preview for a movie for a Christian movie. It was about dealing with teenagers and them dealing with some stuff. And after the fact, like after the movie, they asked some people's opinion and they was like, y'all got to take this out, take this out, take this out. And we working in youth ministry, the people I'm with, <laughs> we looking at each other like, what? Like, you know what I mean? Every Christian movie doesn't have to be a bow, like a, like a, a, a get along. Like some yeah, Christian yeah, movies, yeah. people's testimonies are very harsh. Yeah, wrong. Yeah, wrong. Right, right, you know yeah. what I mean? The Bible is wrong. When you read yeah. the Bible, some stuff you like, oh, that's like crazy. Yeah. So, David so, did, yeah. Right? so you yeah, can't, so you can't Black look Mama at, like you can't look at stories of christians and think everything should be like in like happy go lucky Squeaky clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah like i'm like yeah. that's just not facts and i think yeah i think if people create reality what i call christian reality films where it's like yes i went through some mess but jesus came in and, and people respect that more mm -hmm. than just everything looking so mm -hmm. bubbly and stuff sure sure right. sure all right, well, that wraps that conversation up. We're going to get back into some more music, and when we come back, it's line for line time. You're in the field with the track stars. Ryan Righteous, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Lego. Hey, what's going on? I hope you liked that video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash track stars universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now.